Hi, Henry. We're here today to talk about um, the new policy that the Chancellor's talking about, which looks at inheritance tax. Specifically today, we'll talk about how that's going to affect farmers if it comes into place. Yeah. Right. So where, where did inheritance, inheritance tax all start? Where did it all come from in the first place? Well, it started about 100 years ago with Lloyd George, just before the First World War, when a lot of land was owned by a very few large holders, mostly aristocratic families, and the aim was to break up the great estates in, right. in the countryside and in the cities. Yeah, OK. But where did that come from it's in itself? Where was that a thousand-year-old thing from William the Conqueror or something like that? Well, it starts with William the Conqueror, and then it, it continued, in fact, after the Reformation. So the monastic lands were divided up. And that really is the origin of the ancient aristocratic families' estates. OK, OK, I understand. So that's where we are today. And the government wants to break that up, do they? Is that what you think? Well, they don't like the fact that small farmers are exempt because farmers are exempt okay. from the inheritance tax because it's regarded as a business, mm -hmm. which businesses are not subject to inheritance tax or okay. haven't been up to now. Okay. So, so it's a loophole. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you think it's fair because they've already paid a lot of tax to create this farm business, haven't they? They've already paid a lot of taxes already. Do you think that's it's fair to charge? Hmm? It's sort of fair in a way because the farmer's main asset is the land and land, the price of land is high, so it's a valuable mm. asset and they might not be producing much income. Yeah. So it's fair in a way, but it's a very ham-fisted way of dealing with the problem. Okay, so the next thing to ask is, is this a good tax then? And if it is, why? And if, if it's not, why not? Well, it's a very bad tax. Inheritance tax is a very bad tax. In the first place, it never achieved the aim of breaking up the big estates because they simply mm. transfer the ownership into trusts and were yeah. therefore exempt. So most of the big country estates and the important London ones are still owned by the same families as before. They just work their way around the system. Yeah, yeah. It's the same. So wh why didn't the government just say that trusts weren't allowed for this purpose then? If they, well, I, think if not, I think it would have been a very difficult thing to unravel the law. Um, mm. And then the First World War broke out anyway, so it wasn't much of a priority. OK, OK. Yeah, and what's, what's the First World War got to do with this, if anything? Uh, too many th things occupying politicians' minds. Yeah, OK, OK. All right. So it's it's not a good tax then, OK, because it has a loophole. And can you just go over that loophole again? And what, the, how loophole that works? Is, the loophole is that the estate is transferred to a family trust. And okay. so a few years ago, when the Duke of Westminster died, his son didn't pay, in, the estate didn't pay inheritance tax because the son didn't really inherit the, the estate. Hmm. It remains with the trust. Okay. And is that the case? Would that be the case for farmers? I it suspect wouldn't... not. The smaller no. farmers don't have the resources to hmm. set the whole thing up. It's quite expensive to do. Yeah. The, the legal cost. But in any case, it hasn't been an issue because it, it's been this exemption. Yeah. It's a transfer of a business. Okay. Okay. I understand. Yeah. So what? So this, to, if you look at inheritance tax, it's largely a land value tax, isn't it? It's largely a tax on real estate, isn't it? That's handed over. If you look at, mm. Mm, it is a tax on land value, but it's a very bad one because it's triggered by an event, like okay. a person dies. Yeah. So what? So what? So for farms, what will be the unintended consequences if they? bring in this inheritance tax exemption uh, cancellation? I think unintentional consequence one is that farmers will go in for trusts if they can. It's mm. going to have the cost. It's nice work for accountants and solicitors. But um, mm -hmm. I think 
They'll probably work around it, but if they don't, the hmm. small farms will be broken up, and I think a lot of the land will be snapped up by people like uh, or large companies that use farmland. It's, 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 a, it's quite a good asset class. Okay. It's, okay. It's a stable asset, but I think the other thing that will happen will be the quality of farming will go down from a conservation point of view because farmers, family farmers have got an incentive to keep the land in good condition and conserve it and make it continue to be appealing, whereas the uh, once the land's owned by a company, there's no interest. They just use it as a resource to extract okay. as much profit as they can from yeah, no longer yeah. Can do anymore, and the people that are doing the work on the spot have got no long interest, long term interest or commitment either. Okay, okay. So there's really three choices a farmer's got, isn't there? A small farmer's got. They can either go with it um, and pay the extra tax if they can afford it. Uh, they can exploit the loophole. Um, if they can afford that, which means lawyers and solicitors and accountants and things, and put it into a trust. Um, or they can give up altogether, can't they, and give up the farm altogether. It's three different yeah. choices they've got. It's going to mean that can further decline of family farming, which I think is, in principle is a good institution. It keeps the countryside stable. The, those sort of farmers act as stewards. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, stewards, I... Of the, stewards of the landscape. If you look at the thumbnail photograph at the beginning, you'll see the kind of landscape you get was quite small family farms. Yeah, yeah. I live around. I live in South Oxfordshire. There's a lot of farms like that around here, and they do. Everybody seems to know each other. That's for sure. Yeah, there's some sort of community here. That's true. Yeah. So what yeah, about? Whole, um, sorry. The whole idea of stewardship or disappear yeah yeah but what about food in the uk what's going to happen to food in the uk what the quality of it the price of it this sort of thing that people well, are concerned the style, about the style of farming that you get with uh, companies and managers is, the, is just the cheapest they can produce and i mm. think in the long term also they they don't use conservative methods of farming so the soil gradually degrades yeah which is not a new trend, but it's it's going to aggravate to what's been yes. going on for a long time. And what if they pay the tax? Does that mean they're just going to be squeezed that much more from the tax as well, farmers? They're going to have to go to get loans or probably have to go to the bank. Mm. And then the bank is effectively the owner. They're the bank's tenants. Yeah. So they get a mortgage, yeah. basically, you're saying. Yeah. And they're then on very tight margins. Yeah, yeah. And we know what happens a lot with mortgages, don't we? When people are on on the margin, they tend to go under in the end, unfortunately. Yeah. And yeah. land then ends up being owned by the banks. Yeah. Which, Which is just like just like sending it to institution in the first place, isn't it? Yeah. Effectively it's owned by the banks anyway, as soon as you've got a mortgage. Yeah. The, the lender is the owner, effectively. Yeah, the collateral, it's the land itself. Yeah, the loan policy critics. So people like Will Hatton, who was talking today in the Guardian. What about the critics of the? He was critic. Hmm. He thinks it's a good idea, but it. He says it's going to bring new entrants into the market, new entrants into farming, and uh, bring capital in, and all the rest of it. But. Uh, I don't think it's going to do much of that at all. And uh, the, one of the things about Will Hutton is he knows what the solution is to over concentration of land ownership. It's land value taxation, but he's, uh, he's always come out against it. But I don't think farmers are very happy about it either, are they? If you propose that to a farmer, they would immediately object. Land value taxation is based on the rental value. Now, uh, it's a proportion of what the rental value would be. Now, if a farmer can't pay the LVT on what his rental value would be, it means that the, the, the farming operation is uneconomic and he'd be better off to retire and let it to someone else. 
they, they shouldn't really be afraid of it. And of course, even more, they shouldn't be afraid of it if, if as it should be, the land value taxes, a replacement for other taxes. Farmers pay a lot of tax on, yeah. particularly on labour. People don't understand yeah. that. But taxes on wages have to come from the employer in the end. They don't can't come from anywhere else. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And I think farmers will farmers will make their accommodation. As I said, there'll, there'll be some protests and tractors in the streets and things. But I think uh, more significantly, they'll quietly get on with arranging meetings with their solicitors to once the legislation's set up they'll get they'll go through it with a fine tooth comb and work out how to get away with it yeah so in other so, words get it get it put into a trust or something like that but they tend to be not that wealthy to to afford these things usually no, it's unfortunate but i suspect some legal firms will come up with some kind of standard yeah template for, for doing what needs to be done they could all go to. They could do sort of a. They could form a group, couldn't they, to work together on it and save money, like they did in the old days. Civil litigation in the old days would work like that. Yeah. They're getting up. In fact, the National Farmers Union is is the obvious. Oof. Would you trust them? Not really, but um, mm. think, they're better I to do it on their true. own, aren't they? Yeah. I think they'll come up with the goods this time. The, the National Farmers Union, of course, is not a farmers union. It's a national. Union of Farmland Owners. Okay. Masquerading as a trade union. <laughs> I, think, I think they'll protect their members. And, okay. And then we'll get, they'll, 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 there'll be a solution to this. But yeah. in the meantime, a bit of uh, slurry dumping in the streets does no harm, I think. It keeps the government on their toes. All right. Okay, that's great. Well, thanks for that, Henry. And we'll talk okay. later. <laughs>